about 150 bucks spent and 21 items were purchased. Let's go through this haul. These Both of these stores happen to be Goodwills today, but that's not normally how it goes. There's normally a few different ones, but today it was two Goodwills. And I do have two helpers today, so if you see um, either one of my cats getting the frame, they're just being cats. So let's start with the first item. Leonard Skinner snapback trucker cap. I think it's old. I think it might actually be vintage. I don't know a lot about hats, but it's a Nissan cap made in China. Don't know too much about it, but I do know the sell through rate tells me to buy this. So I actually paid $349 plus I got a 20% discount. So that's, that's probably one of the cheaper items in the haul, if not the cheapest. Next we have another hat, Pelagic. It's a fishing company, fishing gear company. Sell through rate's pretty good. Tags like this. I heard about this brand from uh, Matt Thrift at Thrift to Life. I watched a lot of his videos. So Pelagic was one of the fishing brands that he was always talking about. And it does sell good if you find the right items. So shout out to Matt, Pelagic fishing hat. Should get 15, 20. Paid uh, 350. Next we have a brand that I love to find and I do not find very often, but it is Faraday. Here's the shorts. They're like knit sweat shorts. All right, so it's got the drawstring, the metal tips, Faraday. Um, yeah, I, I haven't even looked these up. I usually don't look up Faraday stuff. I just buy it. But Faraday shorts. And I got another pair. These were $7.99, but I got 20% off of that. So that's the second pair, Faraday shorts. And there is a third. I found all three of them, not next to each other, but in the same general section. You see that tag? There's a good chance you're going to want to pick it up. Not always, but I pick it up every time I find it, unless it's trashed or it's overpriced, which does happen a lot. It is overpriced a lot at these thrifts. So three Faraday shorts. Next, we have a basic t-shirt from Rourke. It's an outdoors brand. Also sometimes called Rourke Revival. The tag looks like this. Get it over there. Good sell through rate. Not going to make a ton of money, but you know, for what I spend on this, two bucks, 249 plus 20% off. Had to get it. Had to get it. Can't pass up Rourke when I find it cheap. Next, we have a Territory Ahead. This is a basic, um, like a twill shirt. It's a basic twill shirt. It's got some chambray on the inside of the collar. It's a little bit nice. Here's the tag. Territory Ahead. Let me see. That's not a great. And I got this for $2. It was a clearance tag for two bucks and it does not have any flaws. Territory Head's one of those brands. Some stuff, it's not great. Some stuff sells really well. This is a twill shirt. It's in good shape and it's in the season. It's kind of a bit, a bit, little bit heavier weight. So I think I should be able to get 20 bucks for this. And next we have some Patagonia. Flannel shirt, organic cotton. I believe it's an XL, and here's what it looks like. And this one I paid up for quite a bit. Um, here's the tag, Patagonia. They were asking $19.99 for it, but I did show them that it has some damage on the sleeve and I was able to get five bucks off the price which they only did that because I shop there all the time I'm not sure if they do it for everyone but that's a legit request I mean this thing's ripped really pretty good here on the sleeve 
I have to repair that. I'm, t I'm comfortable doing that. I don't care. I do it all the time. So f I basically paid 15 bucks plus 20% off for Patagonia um, flannel shirt. It's actually in really good shape besides that cut. And this is a heavyweight. So I didn't do the comps. I didn't even look it up, but I'm reckoning that's probably 25, 30 bucks. Next, we have Bonobos corduroy pants. Bonobos is not a brand I pick up usually, but corduroy pants in really good condition. This time of year, my Bonobos do sell pretty good. It's a pretty good size. It's a 36, I believe. Anything 34, 36, 38, 40, I'm pretty happy with. 32 does okay as well. So yeah, that's a 36. Uh, about 550 plus a discount, so about four bucks maybe. Next we have uh, Billy Reed. Not a brand I normally pick up. I used to. I used to pick up almost everything I find by Billy Reed, but now I don't really pick it up that often. You can tell it's Billy Reed if you see this. And you'll see this on the corners of the polo shirts on the hems. Sometimes on the button-up shirts, you'll see it on the side where you would normally see a tag. But here's the tag. Here's what it looks like. Don't get me wrong. Some Billy Reed is still good stuff to pick up. It's just basic Billy Reed. It's XL. It's got the buttons over here like a blazer or a sport coat. And it's just like a casual kind of a dressy jacket coat, I guess. Um, they wanted $11.99, so 20% off of that. Pretty good. And now we're getting into a stack of jeans. I don't normally pick up that many jeans, but you'll see why this is the exception, one of the exceptions. Ariat FR. If you find any Ariat jeans, it's probably a good pickup if you get them at a good price. These are the cat category two fire resistant jeans. And as a side note, usually if you find any fire resistant clothing or FR, it'll say on the tag, it's usually a pretty good pickup because a lot of jobs require that kind of clothing and you have to buy it yourself and it's not cheap. So a lot of people want it used. Ariat, here's the tag. The M4 relaxed boot is one of the most popular Ariat um, styles that I know of. So that's one of them. And I actually found four of them. So there's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to show all four. I'll just give you a quick look. Number two. Oh, and the size on these is 34 and 36. Three and four. I found this um, satin Toyota work jacket, like a windbreaker work jacket. Check it out. Check the comps on Toyota jackets. It's pretty good, especially this style, like the work coat. This is like an actual Toyota employee style. It's like the shiny vintage looking one. I paid $12.99 with 20% off of that. And I'm expecting 30, 35, maybe 40. Because it's flawless, there's no, there's no um, stains, no rips at all. Next we have a basic champion hoodie pullover. It's just tan, brown. And here's the size. I was $4.99, so basically $3. Actually, $4. <laughs> I didn't buy this to resell. I got this for myself because a, a plain champion that doesn't have anything on it is not worth picking up. But this is very comfortable. I, tell, I could tell when I grabbed it. And I do like a good, plain, comfy hoodie. So that's mine. And here is clearly the find of the day. A Patagonia Cinchilla 
with a crazy southwestern Aztec pattern. And let me just state, I do not usually find these very often. This is a medium, Patagonia Cinchilla. Let me show you the tag. If you see that tag, Patagonia Cinchilla, you're going to be picking it up. It has an incredible sell-through rate at this time, right now in the winter time. I believe this is women's too, based on the way it feels and, and the sizing of it. I think it's a women's medium with owls. So I'm expecting, uh, I don't know, 50 bucks, maybe a lot more. I'll probably look silly when you see the comps that I put on the screen. And right now I have a cat sitting on my pile. So I guess I'll show you the cat because clearly that's what she's trying to do. This is a random cat that showed up at my wife's work one day and she was just a baby and she was skinny and hungry and had nobody and so now this is Zelda and she is my best friend and she likes to help at work all right girl here you go buddy and now just like clockwork we have another cat on the pile and I, <laughs> I want to show you what this looks like there is another cat her name is Gilly and now she's on the pile and she was also a cat that nobody wanted and now she's our cat right Gilly okay see if I can put that back where it goes all right all right Gilly I'm gonna have to move you okay buddy all right we're down to the last few items the Adidas vintage uh, half zip hoodie It is a men's medium. Here's the tag. You can't see that very well. Anyways, I did not look it up. Didn't need to. It's vintage Adidas with the big leaf on it. It's got the 90s colors. I'm assuming that's the early 90s, maybe late 80s. Next, we have a Another Patagonia. This is a lightweight quarter zip or half zip. I think this is the Capoline. Yeah, the Patagonia Capoline is another one. It doesn't sell as good as a Cinchilla, but it's still pretty good. 2XL is a great size. And yeah, that. I got it for, sorry, I didn't tell you how much the Adidas was either. It was 10 bucks plus 20% off. So like nine. So this here is uh, $9.99 for this Capoline. The second to last item. This is a first for me. I knew about this item because the video I made. And its brand name is Stone Island. Let me show you the item. I actually taught myself something so because I made my videos I found a Stone Island heavyweight sweater here's the tag it was $8.99 and it's got a thing on the side too let me show you this thing on the sleeve kind of a gaudy patch $8.99 minus about $1.80 so that's what I paid for that and I didn't look it up, so you'll find out. And this is the last item, and it is not going for sale. It is for my wife, who is obsessed with this video game. Paid $6.99 for it. It's an official Nintendo product. So yeah, that's for my wife. She loves the Zelda, so about 150 bucks. Those 21 items, I'll make the money back with a few with uh, those jeans. Those jeans will go for right around 40 bucks each, um, 35, 40 bucks, and I got four of them. So 
everything else is going to be profit. So pretty good haul today. And I did not cherry pick. So everything you just saw was actually everything I bought. I didn't buy anything additional and I didn't cherry pick to only show the good stuff. Today was just a good, a good haul day. And it doesn't always turn out that way, but it's the days like today that make um, reselling a lot more rewarding than it is a lot of times. Sometimes you end up with stuff that's not that great. And sometimes you get stuff like this.